Okay guys, so welcome back to Old Time Garage. It's been um, it's been a couple weeks since I've done a video for you guys. I think the last video I did, I had Brent's 71 Chef pickup. I had just painted the cab and mounted it on the frame, I believe. That was the last one. Um, it's been a little hectic around here, so I haven't had time to do a video for you. If you remember, and if you don't, watch my other videos of all the projects I got on the go. Well, like an idiot again, I couldn't say no when I took on another car. So here we are. It's a 1970 Mustang, and the owner has brought it in. This is not a frame off or nothing like that. It's just straighten the body out and uh, change the color and just kind of make it a little cooler looking than what it was. It was originally this, uh, I don't know what you want to call it, diaper ass baby green or something like that, I guess maybe. I don't know what you want to call that, but anyway, horrible. And it had a white vinyl top with white interior. It's a 351 car. See, it's got the big V8 in there. It goes well. So he bought this off the original owner, and uh, like I say, it needs a little bit of work. So we're just kind of, you know, sanding it, blocking it down. I've welded some patches in here, welded a patch in here. It was all rotten back in here, so I cut all this out and welded pieces in here. But here's the thing that I need to remember, and after all my years of building cars, I seem to forget this all the time. One thing I don't do is I never give estimates because you can't go up, you just can't. You don't know what you're going to see. So I just charge by the hour. It is what it is. Um, he wants to lose the vinyl top and he wants to paint this car a, a 1970 uh, Mustang color. It was called uh, Competition Orange. And he wants to go the hood scoop with the black stripes and all that kind of bullshit. And that's all fine. So when you go to rip a vinyl top off a car, it's not just that easy. You don't just rip the top off and think you're going to sand it and paint it. Because the reason the vinyl top is on here, usually they're, they're rusted in behind or it's covering up blemishes. So this is not bad. But look what we get into in the back here. I don't know if you can see this in the video. We've got rust. We've got rust holes all across here. You know, and, and here's the big kicker. Wait till you see this. Now this, this... Here, I, I couldn't figure this out at first because it's pop riveted. And I didn't, you know, we didn't grind this down right away to see. We just assumed that somebody had bashed in the sail panel because it was rotten and pop riveted a piece over top, but they didn't. As you can see, here's the factory lead. And what's gone on here is this quarter panel has been replaced at some point in the future. I mean, in the, in the past, someone replaced it. So instead of weld it back up, this is where they cut the quarter panel off. They took the new quarter panel, or used, or whatever they had, and they jammed it up underneath, and all they did was pop rivet it back on. Because they didn't give a shit, because they're going to put the vinyl top back over top of it. And this is what happens. This is what happens to vinyl top cars. The vinyl top cars look cool, but they're a nightmare for this. Um, you really have to look after them. You know, it's, it's a moisture trap. There's no denying it. So... This is something that I slipped in thinking that I could get this done in a matter of two weeks and just bang it out the door because I didn't want to say no to the guy you know summertime's here he wants to drive and he just bought this car he's pretty proud of it so um except for the color he's not proud of so that's you know so I mean I can't blame the guy who'd want to drive around this car I'd want to get it painted right away too in this color so I slipped it in and thought I'd be here and, and, and be done in two weeks you know but now when I say two weeks I'm working on other stuff in between but I thought you know I'd bang this thing up fairly quick and here's the problem we run into because this gentleman would like to lose the vinyl top and have the whole car painted. But it's, um, you know, it's got rust coming up in the front window areas. It's got rust coming up everywhere. So anyway, we're gonna have to pop the glass. We're gonna have to cut it out, weld all the pieces in. But the good news is, which is gonna save me a little time, is I actually had the owner over here today and I talked him into putting a vinyl top back on it. It doesn't mean we're gonna do a hack and whack here. We're gonna cut it out properly. We're gonna fix, fix what's going on in there for rust. But at least with the vinyl top going back on it, we don't have to get too, too perfect with the bodywork. Because if you're gonna paint this car without the vinyl top, you're gonna to have to have it pretty straight, and there's a lot of work needed here. There's tons of work needed here. So, so luckily, he's gonna go with the vinyl top, so that's gonna solve a lot of problems for us. And it will look really sharp. I mean, the orange body, gloss black rims, a black vinyl top, we're gonna to do the black behind the tail lights, we're gonna put the hood scoop on, we're gonna do the black there, some stripes. We're kinda of gotta go for this look here. Let me hold this up for all you guys out there. Just picture this car, if you can see that, without the vinyl top and without this stripe. We're going the same hood scoop, all them kind of goodies. Same style of wheels, we're gonna go on it. So it, it, it'll look pretty sharp. It'll give it a little bit of, a little bit of look there. So, 
anyway, this probably isn't the greatest video in the world. I'm kind of tired. I'm kind of wore down. I'm just doing this video because it's been two weeks since I've done one, and I really felt bad to use subscribers out there, and I thought I better get one up there. Um, you know, th this is reality TV. I, I once said that, you know, um, I think I once said, anyway, that this is reality, and that's what this shop is. This isn't stuff that you're watching on TV at nighttime. Um, not that those guys don't have shops and all that. I'm not naming names. They, they're all hard at it working. They're all a bunch of good guys out there. They're fun to watch. But in the end of the day, it, that, this is reality. There's no... There's no drinking beer in the shop or running around with big titted girls hanging out in the shop and doing all sorts of stuff. This is the reality of the shop. This is working on cars, struggling to make a living and trying to keep the customer happy. And, and this is what we're all about and um, this is what I'll always be about. So that's what we're working on there. I've also, since I've seen you, I've got a 55 Chevy Nomad. The guy's bringing me pieces for This is a door we just finished. It's ready for primer. I've also, since I've seen you, I've got a 57 Pontiac hearse I'm doing, and these are the front fenders. I had to cut it all out here, it was rotten, had to weld new pieces in, had to weld all new metal in here. This bodywork is all done, it's good to go. Um, Bruce's car, Bruce's little 31 Model A coupe, we're going to be doing a video here really quick on it now. He's got the car all together, so we'll get a video going for you guys, and you can see how it looks. The car looks absolutely stunning. He's got it on the road, he insured it last week, and it just looks beautiful. Um, what else can I tell you? We got Brent's truck in the bay here. I haven't done a lot to it since you've seen it. I've just started um, I've just started putting the Dynamat in. Dynamat, for you people that don't know, if you're novice out there and you don't know what I mean, Dynamat is just an insulation product. It's good to keep the noise sounds uh, down and the vibrations. It just is, It's a really good product, but it's very pricey. It's expensive. So we started Dynamatting that and we're starting to put all the original... Um, the firewall dash pad as you want to, or the firewall pad up underneath again and starting to mount all the gas pedal and the brake pedals and all that kind of stuff is going in. So there we go. And if that ain't enough for you, let me show you one more thing before I take off here. Before I take off and have a beer and fall on the couch. We never drink the beer in the shop because you know what? The last thing a customer wants to see is a bunch of guys standing around their car drinking beer. Some of these shops, they after hours, they like to sit around the shop with the boys and drink some beer. And to me... Keep it in the lunchroom. Don't keep it near the customer cars because that's just a bunch of bullshit. Things happen when you drink beer. For those that don't know out there. Anyway, here we go. This is my own personal little motor. Just a little 283, 30 overbore. Little high energy comp 262 cam in there. Yes, we are painting it the nasty old Chevy orange. I know you all hate it out there. But I'm going for the originality look. I want it to look like it would have came out of GM because I'm doing a road trip here pretty soon. I'm going to make it almost into California and I'm taking my little 52 hardtop that you've seen in the background forever. This old rock box is going, going down there. Now this car, I drove this car five years ago and five years ago I put a, I put, I went and did all the kingpins, all the suspension, I dropped it down, all new brakes, all new exhaust, turbo 350 tranny with a 283 and a 10 bolt 55 Chevy rear end, all new leaf springs, new wiring harness, new heater core, basically mechanical wise, everything on this car is brand new. I drove it for two years, put around 2,000 miles on it, then I let it sit out one fall, and what happened? This goddamn seam on the hood here, believe it or not, this seam, Leaked water down through. I never drove the car for the winter and it sat outside. Leaked water down through. Had my little 283 in here. And I keep it looking original because I like it to look like the car would have came with the 283. That's why I'm going for the cheap, nasty orange for all you guys out there that hate the Chevy orange. <laughs> and I had an oil bath on it. The water ran, into, ran on top of the oil bath worked its way down the carburetor. Now keep in mind, this was sitting outside all winter. Worked its way down the carburetor, filled up the goddamn piston at the rear side, number eight piston, it filled it up because the piston was down low, filled the cylinder with water. I go to start the car, it won't start. Kunk, kunk. Finally, I couldn't figure out what was going on. I see this trail of water running down there. I pull the plugs, the water come flying out of there like you wouldn't believe it. it was like a tap. Ran out of there. Let the water drain out for a day or two, started it up. What was it doing? It was knocking like a son of a bitch because when I tried to turn it over, I bent the rod. It's knocking, it broke the rings, it starts smoking. So what do you do? You get pissed off, because you got eight other cars, which I got, and I left it alone, and it's been sitting out for three years. 
I've decided, you know what, out of all the cars I got, this is the most comfortable car I got to ride in, even though it's a rock box. And it's pretty cool to go down the highway in a rusty old car like this and everyone giving you the thumbs up thinking, how's that thing on the road and going? So I got my good buddy, who we were just talking about, Bruce Brown, he went through and did the motor for me. And we're going to get that motor in there sometime next week. And uh, that's it. This car is going on the road trip. She's going to go down there and back. Just like this. So take a good look at her. <laughs> anyway, she's a good old car. And I've got big plans for this car. And hopefully if you guys stick around and watch my videos, you're going to see what's going to happen. This car is going to get a 2-inch chop. It's going to get Packard tail lights. It's going to get 54 Buick headlight rings. It's going to get a DeSoto grill. It's going to get it all. Okay, guys. Well, that's it. It's still sunny out. The barbecue is heating up. And I'm going to go have a beer and sit down for the night and uh, try to avoid the phone. So I'm sorry I haven't been with you guys for the last few videos. I'm going to get a bunch up there for you. And uh, thank you for your support. And thanks for watching. Okay, bye.